there's too much talking head and not enough other stuff. And I wonder if that's because I, instead of selecting someone who does necessarily digital media or new media research, I decided to work with someone for my documentary who does mostly teaching, and I had a hard time finding things like concrete pictures and things to put in my documentary of what she was talking about, partly because because of her particular pedagogical preferences and logistics, it was pretty much impossible for me to actually get Second Life footage of her students because she has a big thing about student privacy, which is totally reasonable, but that made it so that I couldn't have clips of the actual things she was talking about and had to settle for wandering around Minerva Island, which was okay, but not as good as it could have been. Also, she had some interesting things to say about the kind of things that students share in Second Life that they would never share in a traditional classroom. <clears throat> also, um, which she specified shouldn't be included in the documentary, so I couldn't put those in each other either, which was sort of sad. As another thing that I wonder if works very well in the documentary, first off, I use screen capture, but I think that the resolution of the screen capture is not good enough to do some of the things that I want to show. Like with this, for example, I wanted to show how... <laughs> how people definitely do use interesting and not really deep comments on posting sometimes, using an example of a posting that I did. Another thing that I thought about, and this actually did make a stylistic choice, now I didn't get backed into a corner about it, um, I, the footage that I got is kind of, it's like dark and kind of gray, and I was thinking about trying to do something to improve the color or to reshoot some of it, but then I thought that it was kind of an interesting contrast between uh, the like bright colors in Second Life and the like dreary, drab kind of existence outside of it, and so I thought that that kind of exemplified a little bit the point that she was talking about, about some of the things she likes about Second Life that are different from real life, so I thought that that worked out okay. The other thing that I wasn't sure if would work in, um, in the, in my documentary is the, like, whistling wind, which is something that I came across in Second Life on a lot of the places that I visited, like, they all had, they all had, their creators had all designed wind, which is just a crazy thing in a virtual world. Anyway, so I wanted to incorporate that.